I will be doing my behavioral activation uh, um, a project with the exposure of anxiety slash phobia with a client, a case with a client. And my case will be with me as the um, therapist. And my client will be today, Mr. Lewis, right here. This is Mr. Lewis, smile. Okay. And he will be telling me, and I will be explaining his, um, how, the importance of managing his anxiety and why is he anxious and he's going to ask me questions, etc., etc., etc. Okay, we shall begin. So, Lewis. What is your name? Lewis. Okay. Um, Lewis is a three year old male. Uh, his his major anxiety is being alone or for being feeling abandonment um he was rescued from a pound in houston because he was uh he no one really like wanted him and they wanted to they were gonna put him to sleep because no one wanted him um because he was a little bit ugly Therefore, the anxiety came of him being fear of being left alone and left um, abandoned because he, he was in, in a shelter. So, it's important to manage Mr. Lewis. It's important uh, to manage your anxiety by facing the fear which they're placed in different situations and objects do you think it's um it's normal to want to avoid those fears that you're dealing with he is saying that he is normal but there should be triggers to that fear um he, for example, um, Mr. Lewis hates being alone, so the kennel triggers him, and he will trigger himself to the point that he doesn't want to be alone until he finds someone that he's with. Um, do you think, Lewis, tweet, look at me. Do you think that being alone is a problem to you? Are you anxious, sir? Because you're alone? Yes, okay. So, um, there's vicious circles of fear and we're gonna do the psychoeducation. Avoidance is one, uh, a re which is a response to your fear. So, when you're feeling anxious, the impulse of, sorry, when you're feeling anxious, the impulse is to do the things to reduce your anxiety. So, do you think being with mommy will make you feel like less anxious? Okay. And, um... Try to reduce the anxiety by avoiding the fear, feared situation to get together, all together. So, do you think if you're with mommy, you are gonna, and you're in the kennel, would you still fear that she's gonna abandon you? Okay, yes, I hear you. The avoidance decreases the anxiety because you're not having the, dis the distressing situation. So you think going with mommy everywhere will make you feel better or 
that she's not going to abandon you because you're not going to be abandoned. She will always come back for you. I understand you don't know that, but you have to understand that mommy gets busy and is trying to give you a better life. Okay. Another um, cycle of the fear, which is avoidance that consequences to you. Which are the consequences, consequences that do you feel? Like, for example, while avoidance makes anxiety better in a short time, how, how would you feel in the long run? You still feel sad? Yeah. Avoidance makes anxiety about the feared situation, place, or object worse in the long term because you become more and more un unwilling to confront your anxiety. Do you think... Can you sit with me? So, yeah, so I can like talk to you more. Better? Thank you. Thank you. Do you think if mommy leaves you in the house alone if mommy leaves you at the house would it be better to practice with your fear no you don't want to be left at the house alone no okay but I think the best way for you to learn is for you to be left at the house alone, don't you think? Yeah. What do you think? What do you want to do to break that cycle that we're, I'm not going to abandon you? What if... We give you tweets. You want tweets? Every time you're in the kennel for an hour. You want tweets for an hour? Yes. That's a yes? Oh my goodness. Yes, papas. Okay. So if you're left in an hour alone, we're going to give you tweets. And we're going to give you hugs and kisses. And every day for we're going to do it an hour more and more and more. And I think that's the best way for you to grade that exposure and process and introduce yourself to being alone. What do you what do you think, Babash? Okay. We agree. So we're gonna focus on the anxiety and we're gonna list all the situations. And say that your anxiety is that I'm leaving you because that is true. I'm not going to abandon you. And we're going to give you papa in tweets every time I come back. How was that? Yes? Besitos? <laughs>